It's incredible video. WDSU first warning weather alert day because those severe storms are moving here. And the latest is we've got a tornado warning for the Lafayette area. I just want to show you real quick the wider view of the Doppler radar in, in its entirety that even extends down to storm still in South Texas. You can see this larger dot that's Poteet here, but we're concerned with these storms moving right towards us. Let me take you in closer to home. Let's go to Doppler radar out of Lake Charles with the Lake Charles Doppler radar. We've got a severe thunderstorm that has actually turned into a tornado warning at this time. You can see that tornado worn storm right there for Lafayette and it is moving right in towards the city. Let's see if we've gotten velocity data that can show you what we have in the way of anything of spinning that we could see that would discern that. And I don't see anything that jumps out to me right now. But the takeaway from this, if we got severe storms in that area and that's where they're headed, directly towards us. If they're severe now, they're most likely going to be holding together. And you see that's got an east B line that would be to Gonzales at this time, maybe into Lake Pontchartrain and the North Shore out of that particular area of storms. Let me show you the wider view for us and we'll compare this with the forecast data here real quick. Here's the wider view for you. And in just the last hour, the northern cluster that storms the leading edge is the most intense at this time, but we still have rain behind it. So we've got multiple threats of these storms that are going to be from severe first and possible flooding. Do you see how that storm lines up with our forecast data? That lines up almost exactly correct. Let me go right in tight and we are going to get a high res track hour by hour. Little rain on us right now. That's not severe. By seven to eight, we'll see those stronger storms. This does depict it that it's more to Baton Rouge, maybe the North Shore that gets it, but we have an equal opportunity for those storms in the line of storms to still be really strong, providing some destructive wind potential right in through New Orleans. The timing here is still showing right around nine to 10 o'clock for the beginning of the storms to move in, exiting by 10 to 11. And by the time we get to the early morning hours, those storms should be gone. I'm not so really hot on the redevelopment of storms behind it but easily we could be dropping down one to two inches of rain, if not maybe two to three inches of rain as it moves through. And the North Shore is the one who got the most of the rain from the morning round of storms, two, three inches. And we're under a flood watch until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. It does show I can't completely discount that possible redevelopment behind that initial line. Severe thunderstorm watch for everybody. This is until midnight. Winds possibly as strong as 75 miles per hour. Large hail can't rule out the tornado since reports are just west of Baton Rouge coming in. Tornado has been confirmed with damage or at least initial reports. I should say the confirmation will come from the National Weather Service. Enhanced risk for the severe storms tonight. That's a level three out of five. And the main threats for strong wind gusts as we showed that tops that list after heavy rain. Wind gusts over 58 miles per hour. And within a line of storms, that is usually what we find. But we can't forget that that spin up tornado right in the middle of that line has already happened and it's possible for us too. The timing from west to east, 7 to 11. Heavy rain and strong winds are still the greatest and likeliest threats, but a tornado can't be discounted and some strong winds and some hail too. You look at the temperatures, 70s and very high humidity are here. So we definitely have enough energy in the atmosphere. And just to confirm once again, Seven to eight to nine o'clock, those storms will be rolling through New Orleans, and by the early morning hours, those will be gone. Still thinking around midnight is when we start to wrap things up. If we clear skies and we've got all that rain and wet ground that's here, as it's typical for this time of the year, some fog potential getting around tomorrow morning. Tune in with meteorologist Damon Singleton, traffic with Deja. 60s to 70s to get it started. And it's not any cooler behind the system. It's actually pretty hot and humid tomorrow. High temperatures feeling like 90, maybe feeling more like 100 with dew points that will still be into the mid 70s. But before we get to the round of storms tonight and get to that part of the forecast, we need to keep you updated hour by hour. So storms track through with the WDSU first warning weather alert day. Again, the severe thunderstorm watch until midnight and the flood watch till 6 a.m.